Good evening, everyone. Treasure Troller here from the partially mask-wearing militant state of Michigan, where we have Gretchen Whitmer for a governor and dictator for the next four years. So I know it's, I don't know what, probably a week or so since I posted. I really do not like this time of year. Not because of the holidays. The holidays are fine. It's just that almost like everything seems to stop. I remember Rush Limbaugh used to take off two or three weeks, but everybody's gone on vacation. And it's almost like the news cycle stops. <clears throat> There's not a lot going on. And I just don't like this time of the year. I think I first started disliking it. And I don't know if any of you are going to, the, the 10 of you that watch this, ESPN used to have a show called Cold Pizza. And I used to watch that in the mornings. I thought it was a really good show. I think there's, I don't know what the guy's name was. I think the two female co-hosts, one was Kit Hoover. It was either Kit Hoover, or I want to say Kit Carson, but maybe it was Kit Hoover and then Lisa Guerrero. And all of a sudden, cold pizza goes on break. And they come back and there's no more cold pizza. And the best looking one, Lisa Guerrero, is gone. Uh, so it's kind of like a bad time of the year when when shows. That's why this whole uh, Good Morning was it Good Morning America with uh, Amy, whatever her name is, and uh, the guy that just got uh, caught having the affair. This is the bad time to do that kind of stuff because. You know, these TV shows have two or three weeks to kind of figure out new game plans. <clears throat> so this isn't the good time to be doing that. Um, the only other thing I wanted to bring up, and it's kind of a, a sad note thing. Uh, but just before Christmas, there was a shooting in Muskegon. Uh, a guy was killed at his house. His name was Julius Muhammad. And it wasn't but a couple of days before they had kind of figured this out uh, and what had happened. And Julius was, uh, he had just been elected to the Muskegon Heights School Board. And he was going through a divorce. Seemed like it was a bit contested divorce. Could have been over custody. I'm not, uh, I think the, it was going through the divorce and I think the, the custody thing may have come secondary uh, because uh, the his ex-wife or soon to be ex-wife was dating a gentleman uh, by the name of Glenn Davis. And Glenn Davis had a, uh, a criminal record for, uh, shall we say, sexual misconduct. And so uh, he had uh, gotten a restraining order on the guy, and I think it became, the divorce became contentious then. And so Mr. Davis wasn't happy about this, and um, he got a friend of his to drive him near uh, Mr. Muhammad's house and he basically knocked on the door and shot the guy in the head. Another fucking senseless crime. And, uh, you know, I guess there's, you know, and, I don't know. I just keep thinking about uh, what would you do for your kids? Would you lay your life down for your kids? And I guess Julius fulfilled that promise. But 
he sounded like a kind of a community leader, maybe an organizer. And uh, if anybody needed that type of individual around, it was the Muskegon Heights Academy School because uh, the school has been in an absolute downward, downward spiral for I don't know, the last 10 or 12 years. Kids are actually walking out and protesting. Um, just another senseless crime. The guy who's 63 years old, uh, this Davis guy was, so um, yeah, I don't know. This world has just gotten stupid. So with that, this is Treasure Troller. Maybe another vlog later, but I'll have to think about it. Saying aloha and good day.